What's going on you guys? This is the Mexican Yeah, I have another Dell Inspire on 660S. This is a this video is to be a tear down. So I'm gonna move this to the side cover panel. And I'm gonna start off, remove the two screws here in the back. You need a Phillips screwdriver. And so there'll be two screws in the back to remove the side cover panel to do that. And you're gonna slide the side cover panel. And you're gonna remove the plastic fan shroud right here. It comes out and you just lift this up like this, it bends. And it's got a clips right here on the side, so what you do is you bend it like this and it comes right out. Now, we're gonna go and start off. We're gonna remove the three screws from the power supply here. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove another screw here from the video card right here, the PCI bracket is. And remove the video card. This is gonna be secure clip right there. Then what you have to do is press on it, with the screwdriver, and the video card was, comes right out. And we're gonna go ahead and start off I'm gonna go and start off from the heat sink fan for the processor right here. And you're gonna disconnect the CPU fan right there, but to the motherboard. It's a four pin, four wire. So remove the processor heatsink fan cooler. And to remove the processor, you need a paper towel. So you don't wanna get the thermal compound on your hands. So you're gonna take the paper towel and wipe it down, remove. I just want to get my hands dirty, so I'm going to remove the thermal compound off. And there's going to be a secure clip right here. Right here, the process right here, so you take your finger like this. And it slides out, then you're going to lift up the process like this, straight up. Just like that, and you're done. Now is I'm gonna go ahead and start off from the fence rod right here. I'm gonna zoom out the camera. So we're gonna move the front cover basil. To do that, there's a little clips right here. You press it up with your finger like this. And front cover basil comes right out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove the two screws here for the front. This is for the hard drive cage and optical right here. Well, there'll be two screws here, one on the left, one on the right, that you have to remove. And there's another screw that you have to remove, is for the USB ports and uh, SD card reader right here. Another one right here, there's another screw here, you have to remove that. Now, I'm gonna switch to the other side and remove one screw right here. And the hard drive case should come out, lift up like this your finger. And the optical drives connect this. So remove, disconnect the SATA and power from the optical drive and the hard drive right here. SATA and power cable disconnect. And you're gonna switch to the other side. And we're gonna disconnect the hard drive. Go to the other side. And remove the hard drive, slides out, slides up like this, slides down. 
and you remove the hard drive. To remove the optical drive, you will need to uh, remove the two screws on each, on each side. And you go to the other side, I have to remove another two screws here. And you can go ahead and remove the optical drive, it slides out like this. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, disconnect the memory here. So the little clips where your white ones in the top, the one of the white ones on the bottom right here, you click on it, your finger gently lifting down. Little clips right here, memory and then memory slides out like this. Now Go ahead and disconnect the SATA cables here. And I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the, the audio right here just for the front audio. Cable here. And the USB right here. The header. You have to disconnect. And the front slides out like this. It's only hold by one screw right here. And you're gonna try to remove the power supply. So you're gonna disconnect the four pin right here. And the 24 pin, it's got a secure clip. So it should take your finger like this on the middle and should come right out, the 24 pin. So it's hold by the secure clip right here. Same with the four pin, so you have to press your finger like this to release the secure lock. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the power supply, and it's got another screw here, right here in the middle. So you have to unscrew, use a Phillips screwdriver, and your power supply should slide out. So before we do that, then we're gonna go ahead and remove the motherboard. There'll be there'll be one, two, three, three screws on the top. And three screws look like on the bottom. On the other side, like this. And it holds by a total of three, uh, it's got a total of six screws that it's holding by. So let me see what the other screws are at. So it's got three screws in the top and three in the bottom. So there's a front panel switch right here, disconnect that, the header. And be the last part is I have to remove the wireless card here. Uh, connect to the motherboard right here, the mini, connect it to wireless card. And it's held by the one screw here, so let me go ahead and uh, get that. Right here, another mini screwdriver you have to use. You have to use a mini Phillips screwdriver to remove one of the screw. There's a wireless card here that's connected. So that's complete. Now, you can remove the small motherboard. Look at the back side. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh,
So what you have to do is you have to tap the, the back the IO shield and the motherboard comes right out. Because it was stuck to the IO shield like this, it was stuck. So I have to, I have to remove the IO shield at the same time. So motherboard's removed. And here's the IO shield back plate. And the power supply. They have to remove be the last part. So there's the power supply, 220 watt. And, and the front panel switch right here. It's held by the one plastic clip right there. And it comes out like this. And you're done. So yeah guys, this is a, was a teardown of the Dell uh, Inspiron 660S. This is MXKDI here. Thanks for watching. Bye.